Hey, hi, Chris Chan here, Millionaire Advisors, and today I've got a very special guest, uh, Mr. Gan Chin Soon. Uh, he has uh, been in the business for more than uh, uh, 13 years, he's been a live member, uh, he has been also a COT producer, and today he's running one of the most successful advisory groups in Malaysia and based in JB. Hey, hi, yes, uh, hi Chris. Welcome, welcome to okay. my program. Hi, it's my pleasure to be here. Uh, with you today. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for this opportunity. Oh, no, don't say that. In fact, uh, when I saw Gan at uh, Applique this year, I said I have to in uh, interview this uh, gentleman right, with uh, so much excellence. Right, so, Gan, I understand that you have been uh, very, very successful in running uh, uh, one of the most uh, productive team uh, in the whole of Malaysia. You have gotten many, many awards and uh, you have been a producer yourself. Your team have a dynamic uh, group of young advisors, especially those that are 20, 30. Can you tell us a bit more about your success? Yes, Chris. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is I was I'm very happy to be able to work with a group of uh, dedicated um, Gen Yers, okay, whereby uh, they are with us uh, some for as long as about seven, eight years, some for just a few months, and uh, they work very well together, okay, to spur each other on to go for greater heights. So in our, in our team, we are happy that we have built uh, several MDRTs, and almost every one of them has achieved the overseas convention qualifiers. Wow. So that represents the top 10% in the industry. Uh, and we go through a stringent selection process to make sure that we find members who gel in with our culture, uh, who is a right fit to our organization uh, because we want to invest uh, and make everyone in our team successful. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. And uh, seriously, what is uh, enough for you to have such success, right? What are some of your philosophy in terms of your in terms of leadership and team management? Can you elaborate a bit more? Okay. Yeah. Um, for leadership, I'm uh, pretty much inspired uh, by one of the uh, author John C. Maxwell, okay, who wrote this book, 21 Laws of Leadership. Yes. Okay. Nice. Uh, and he shared about um, the leadership, uh, everything rise and fall with leadership. Uh, in, in fact, uh, what uh, I have achieved today, or not yet achieved, it is a reflection of my level of leadership. So, I always see in myself that uh, for me to grow my organization even bigger, even stronger, it is about uh, continuous learning and improving to bring up my leadership skills. Uh, yeah. So uh, in my life, I'm grateful to have uh, several mentors who have uh, guided me to where I am today. Uh, one of them is uh, my uh, Sifu, uh, Master Gordon, where many of the um, learnings that I have uh, today uh, came from uh, his organization and philosophy. Nice. nice. Yeah. So, um, back coming to on, on leadership, I believe leadership is 100% uh, about influence. Okay, it is about uh, me as a leader. Am I able to influence my people to do what is uncomfortable, but uh, necessary for them to continue to grow? Uh, so, uh, this is an area that uh, I am. Uh, I have achieved certain level uh, in. Uh, doing that and uh, it's an area that I'm constantly working on okay so that I can be a positive influence to my people to continue to grow and reach greater heights. Fantastic, it's all about uh, growing so the key thing I got from you is uh, continuous development of your leadership yeah. so that you and uh, continuous development of your influence on the people so that your team can scale to new heights right Right. So, um, now, Khan, there are many, many uh, successful teams around. All right. What sets you apart from the rest to become one of the best? Yeah. What are some of the, the elements, some of the characteristic of uh, be it your leadership or be it the, the culture of the team? All right. Or certain system structure strategies that you use that set you apart from the rest. Can you share some with some of our audience there? Yes. Um, if I were to boil to two areas. Um, I'll come down to two parts. One is uh, selection, okay? Selection. Uh, I don't have a very big team. Uh, my, my whole group is only about 30 members, okay? Uh, um, but uh, almost all of them are uh, commercial qualifiers uh, because before they come in, we go through a stringent selection process uh, because we believe in only bringing members that we are confident to uh, invest and build to become successful. Mm. So we, we, we have uh, politely uh, uh, asked some of them uh, to come back uh, in future. 
uh, when we are more ready to uh, work together. You actually decline candidates. Exactly. Where most leaders can't wait to just grab anyone and everyone. You uh, actually, you know, uh, can decline candidates. Huh? Yes, yeah, so, so, so uh, that, that is something which is very uh, funny uh, about our organization that, that we actually uh, turn people away. Yes, and we will recommend them to uh, our neighbor agencies. Uh, so if there are anyone interested, please give me a call. We have got a list uh, to pass on to you. Oh, I want to, I mean, I'm sure many agency leaders in the Malaysia want to be your friend, it is. Yeah, right. Well, fair enough, sure. I mean, there's, I believe there's always a market uh, for everybody. All right. Uh, so to me, it's about the right fit. Right fit doesn't mean uh, not suitable for your agency. Doesn't mean not suitable for other agency. Exactly. exactly. Yes. Wow. Very, very selfless. Uh, like what my wife used to say, there's no uh, the perfect man. Only the best man for for me. Uh, uh, so in the same context, uh, uh, we're looking for the right fit. Uh, okay. Yes. You. Uh, they may be good, but probably not the right fit. Yeah. Understand. But when you mention your wife, you score points if she, she watches this. Yeah, yeah. You know, behind every successful man is always a woman, right? Yes. So coming back, uh, now, uh, you, you said some, um, a, what, is it, what are some of your, uh, what's, what has happened uh, in the next, say, three, five years for you to feel that, you know, you are totally successful, you are really achieving what you want? What must happen in your agency or your, your advisory group? Yeah. Um, I, I would say that, um, I will be truly deemed successful okay, uh, when I am building people who are doing better than me, who are more successful than me. And the day when I leave uh, this beautiful place, okay, that I have uh, got a team in place okay, that can continue this legacy, okay, that can continue to build on what this organization has uh, laid the foundation on. Uh, that would be the true measure of success. Because in uh, our business, uh, it is very leaders dependent. Yes. When we take the leaders out, basically the organization uh, would uh, crumble down. Yes. Uh, so this is an area that I'm constantly uh, uh, working on, that I'm building on, to build uh, the next generation of leaders uh, who can become even more successful than where I am today. That will be my true level of success. So it's about dupli uh, not just duplicating, but bringing another team of leaders to greater height yes. uh, based on the foundation that they are built. Exactly. Wow, fantastic. So now, I mean, uh, I really uh, thank you so much for being here and making time to come to Singapore, right, to get this uh, video done. Now, is there any uh, parting words or uh, uh, encouragement uh, to agency leaders out there who are especially struggling? Who are you know going through hard time? You know, agency management. Uh, when we became leader, there wasn't any manual given to us on step by step how to be successful. A lot of trial and error at times, and more disappointed, more misses than hits at times. So uh, I also thought of giving up along the way. You know, in the past. So to our our leaders out there who are struggling, what are some encouraging words to them? Maybe you can share about yours, your, how you overcome your struggle and encourage them. Yes. Yes. Uh, probably I will share with you, uh, everybody, my um, darkest moments uh, in the business. Okay. Wow. Yes. Uh, before I was promoted as a manager, uh, I had a team of 10 members in my team. Yes. Uh, and when I wanted to implement certain systems okay, uh, to help the whole group to move forward, uh, overnight I lost everybody. So everyone. it was everyone. That's yes. that's my, my only level two, just everyone. Yes. Uh, okay, you win, you win. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so from a team leader, I'm now a lone ranger. Wow. Uh, and I had to rebuild from, from scratch. Now, uh, what uh, was my biggest takings from this, okay, is that uh, change uh, for the positive can be very difficult. It can be very tough, okay. So, that's why not everybody uh, has the stomach to actually endure all this. But it is necessary uh, for any leader who wants to build something successful and sustainable uh, to have to go through this. So when you go through the darkest moments in your life, okay, uh, take heart because that can be the next breakthrough that's coming for forward. Uh, and what brought me through was uh, mentors uh, are important because they have walked through the journey that uh, they have the experience, the skills to bring you from where you are now to where you want to be. So find the right mentor to uh, guide you, to help you.
so that uh, you can spend less years making the mistakes. Right, so that's an encouragement to them. Look for a mentor. If I'm going through the darkest moment, uh, you know, guard your heart, uh, and rejoice. rejoice, and because it will end up uh, a lot better as long as uh, there's a change necessary for growth. Right, along that line. Yeah. Right, uh, thank you very much, Gan, once again. Right, for, for anyone who want to, uh, I mean, I know you are a successful speaker, trainer as well. So for anyone who want to uh, find out more from you or to learn from you personally, uh, how do they find you? you have an email or something or assistance number? That they, yes, um, you can check out uh, our Facebook page at uh, LIFA, L-I-F-A. Okay, you can also search us uh, at our website. Uh, okay, and probably through um, our um, reaching together, I hope to be able to speak at some of uh, Chris Chan's platforms so I can bless the members as well. Yes, yes, yes. I, I always look for uh, good people, you know, who, are, who have a track record to, to help and uh, bless our, our entire community. So if you have good, good people to recommend, uh, drop me an email, introduce someone to me so that I can interview them to bless our whole network. All right. So once again, thank you very much. And uh, Gan, okay. I hope you thank enjoy you. your trip yeah. in Singapore. Okay. All right, let's say bye to them. Okay. Bye. bye.